Hi there, this is Jennifer Clough on May 25th, uh, 2009. Happy sunny time of the year. I had a question on my blog about jaw jutting. And um, one of the things you have to worry about when you're told to move your jaw forward and back in flute playing is whether you're accidentally jutting the jaw. Um, this is also called jaw boning when some people talk about it. Uh, jaw jutting is when you take the jaw and you physically jut it forward and then you pull it back. This is kind of dislocating what the hinge was made to do, which is open and close. And it's using it in a very weak way. It's also too abrupt a way to use it on flute because it's hard to control. Like if I had to jut my jaw like one millimeter at a time, there's kind of a jerkiness to it. And that kind of gives you unexpected results on the flute. So that is the wrong way. Okay, don't jawbone or jut your jaw when you have to move your jaw forward. I'm going to show you the natural way. I got this from Walfred Kujala's article on jawboning and how not to jut your jaw when he showed, and it was on my blog, a picture of the skull. And the way that the hinge works is that when the jaw is open and the teeth are apart, the jaw goes back. And when the jaw is closed and the teeth come together, the jaw returns to its forward position. So this is a far easier way to play the flute. When you need your jaw back, you open your teeth, and your jaw is in its furthest back position naturally. Okay, I'm pulling my upper lip down, and I'm able to blow down. So if I need to play fortissimo, or I need to play a low note with a, a low angle of air, where the air is angled down like that, all I do is open my teeth, and my lips follow down like this. So that was the picture I was showing on my blog. When I need my jaw to come forward, I simply reverse the process. Instead of opening my teeth and pulling down with my upper lip, okay, I close my teeth very gradually. And the jaw returns to its natural state. So watch this. The finger, I should use a pencil actually. Here's me with my high tech tools. <laughs> okay. So here I am, I'm closed, okay, everything's in line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my teeth and watch the distance that the jaw actually goes back, okay. Okay, that gap is about a quarter inch, okay. Now watch that gap close as I slowly go from open teeth to closed teeth. close my teeth. So you see, your jaw does go back just by opening your teeth. You don't need to pull it back. Okay, and when you need your jaw forward, like let's say you're blowing up and down your hand for practice, all you do is close your teeth. And you have an angle like that. And seriously, the flute angles are from here to there. That's the distance you actually have to angle. So I'll do it one more time. Here I am. I'm playing low. Then I want to raise the airstream up. All I have to do is close my teeth. Okay? So that's the jaw motion that everybody's talking about. It's not this. <laughs> the only use for that is when you're trying to be a tough guy and someone's going to shatter your jaw, so you give it to them to shatter. <laughs> bad idea. <laughs> Very bad idea. Okay, I hope that helps. See you. Bye.